Hello everyone, let's look at the new features and changes rolling out on Windows 11 build 26220.6760 and the dev channel for version 25H2. These changes also apply to build 26120.6760 and the beta channel for version 24H2. Okay, in this release, Microsoft is making available a new feature that allows you to run a network speed test for Ethernet, Wi Fi, and even cellular connections. However, the implementation isn't exactly the way you might think because it is simply a link that opens the web browser to use the speed test using the Bing search engine. So after installing this update, if you right click the network icon, you will find a new performance speed test option. And when you click the option, the web browser is going to open and it's going to open in the built-in internet speed test from Bing. However, you have to be careful because you may also see a different test, but this for a sponsor link. So make sure that the extension that you're going to be using is the one from Bing. So I'm just going to click start to perform a quick test. And that sounds about right for my internet connection. Now, in my opinion, Microsoft could have done a better job in actually implementing a Windows native interface in order to perform a speed test and other network tests, because this is just a link that takes you to the web browser and to the Bing search engine. Nothing is stopping you just to open the web browser and do a search for internet test and do the same thing. Now, if you have a Copilot Plus PC, the next time that you perform a search for a file or image, you're going to notice that the search box now includes a new hint text, which in this case is try describing an image or file to let you know that, that you can use the feature using natural language because Windows search now is also powered by AI and it doesn't need actual keywords. So you can actually type things in natural language and you should be able to find whatever's what you're looking for. Now, Microsoft is also updating voice access with a new option called wait time before acting, as you can see on the screenshot, that allows you to configure the delay before a voice command is executed by the feature. The funny part is that I did take this screenshot last night and today when I was preparing for this video, I opened voice access and the option disappeared. And that is understood for all the biggest features for this particular release, but as per usual, the company is also releasing a bunch of fixes regarding click to do, taskbar, file explorer, lock screen, Windows update, settings, and more. And there are also some known issues for the taskbar search and click to do, in addition to the Windows Studio FX and Xbox controllers. And that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.